Hi, I'm Shannon Lenz, your spiritual fitness coach. Chances are you've heard the phrase, you can't take it with you. I think we all know that's true, but most of us don't live like it's true. We spend our whole lives accumulating possessions and wishing that we had more and more and more. We are jealous of others who seem to have it all, but the end is the same for all of us. Whether we have a little or a lot, we all die and our stuff stays behind. Recently, I lost two of my grandparents. I saw firsthand that when you go home to be with the Lord, you leave your earthly home behind. Everything you've worked so hard to acquire all of your life gets redistributed among your family and friends, sold or even tossed in the trash. This truth was impressed upon me. Our life is not in our stuff. Jesus taught this truth in Luke 12, 15 through 21. He warned, take care and be on your guard against all covetousness for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And then he told them a parable saying, the land of a rich man produced plentifully. And he thought to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, fool, this night your soul is required of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. My ESV Bible titled this teaching of Jesus, the parable of the rich fool. He was a fool because he made his life all about how much stuff he had. He placed his faith in his storehouses of material possessions rather than in the Lord. He had a false sense of security that his soul could be at rest for many years because of all the wealth that he had amassed. But alas, he died that very night. And as it turned out in eternity, he was very, very poor. In his New Testament commentary, theologian Dr. Warren Wiersbe wrote, the greatest tragedy is not what the man left behind but what lay before him, eternity without God. The man lived without God and died without God, and his wealth was only an incident in his life. God is not impressed with our money. This rich fool had a lot of money, but he was not rich toward God. He selfishly hoarded that which God had blessed him with. He didn't acknowledge that it was God who had allowed his land to produce so much. He didn't thank the Lord for everything he had. He didn't honor God by giving generously to those in need. He didn't donate any of his wealth to the church so that the gospel would continue to go forth in the world. He used his riches to build his own kingdom rather than invest in the kingdom of God. And it turned out to be a bad investment with very poor returns. So how can we win today with our money? Jesus answered this question for us in Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Here's your challenge for today. Ask God to show you where your treasure is. Are you selfishly storing up earthly treasures or treasures in heaven? Are you hoarding your stuff or giving generously? Are you building his kingdom or yours? Then ask God to show you how to be more rich towards him 
and more generous with what he's given you. Because in the end, you can't take it with you. Our life is not in our stuff. Now go and win today.